hey hey happy people so today we are going to be making a uh, stew today we're going to do an acorn squash chickpea stew today uh, just because I need to put some uh, ziploc bags of stew in the freezer I have no uh, stews and we're low on soups over the winter we have pretty much uh, reduced our stocks here so let's just get started with this y'all don't need to know all that alright so I got my uh, pot here and I already have it on it's heating up. I'm just going to turn the heat up just a little bit more here. I got some grapeseed oil here. And we're going to add that. So already doing a little sizzle sizzle. Alright, so my oil is hot here. So now we're going to add some veggies in here. We got some onion, some butternut squash, and some green bell pepper. I'm going to add that. Also, I got some uh, not so minced garlic here. I'm going to go with that too. Gonna let these saute down a little bit, at least until my onions have sauteed down. And bell peppers, the butternut squash is gonna take a little longer, but it will cook throughout the process here. Alright, put the lid on this and let it cook down here for a few minutes. Be right back. Alright, so our onions and bell peppers have sauteed here, so now. Get a little bit off the bottom there. Now I'm going to add the herbs here. I got some basil, thyme, and oregano. This is a few sprigs that were left over in the fridge. So, it's about four leaves of the basil I mean oregano sorry and two sprigs of the basil and let's see that's a pretty good thick sprig of thyme there so we'll just go with two of those let them get heated up here I love the way herbs just start smelling. The aroma is just so amazing. Alright, so now, next, we got here some seasonings here. I got a little bit of uh, red pepper flakes, some alkaline all-purpose seasoning, some alkaline uh, cluck cluck bouillon, some alkaline black pepper, some alkaline nutritional yeast, and then some savory here. Now, usually in this they would have uh, green beans, but green beans are not on the alkaline list, so my substitute today is going to be cactus, which is Nepal's. I have already cooked these. Uh, you will need to watch like the green bean and tomato video to see how to cook them, or the um, uh, green bean casserole video to see how to uh, cook these, because I do cook them in advance. As you can see here, they are... Um, cook to reduce the slime out of them and to soften them up to get you like a green bean texture because they are hard in the first place and they will become slimy. Alright, then they also usually have uh, green peas but again, green peas is not on the alkaline nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast. The Alkaline Nutritional Guide. So, I have substituted the green peas with some green chickpeas. These are the green chickpeas. As you can see, they are smaller. When you cook them, some of them turn really dark, kind of brown, black. But some of them are green. And we're going to use that in place of peas. Regular peas. Alright, so now, we got some veggie broth here. Gonna add that 
Get us some liquid in there. Get everything off the bottom. Now, we have our acorn squash here. I have just diced these up into uh, larger chunks here. They're not so small. We got some regular chickpeas because of course this is called acorn squash and chickpea stew. So, we got our regular chickpeas in here. My uh, chickpeas, Nepal's, and both chickpeas and Nepal's were pre-cooked. So the measurements that you see, and I will run them right here, are all dried product. It was dried when I measured it. Then I soaked them or cooked them. Soaked them and cooked them. <laughs> Alright, now. So now... I'm going to wait on the kill. I was going to just throw it in there. We're going to let this come to a boil. Basically, you're going to cook it until your uh, acorn squash is soft as you like it. This is where it goes in the territory of what you like, what your soul say yes to, you know? Uh, so, cook them until your acorn squash is tender enough for you. Everything else is pretty much cooked or soft enough, so just until you, uh, your uh, texture taste, should I say. Uh, so, I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. It has been about uh, 20 minutes here. Uh, my acorn squash is soft now. So, guys can see that there. I'm going to transfer it over to this eye right here. I have it on low. I don't need it to be that high anymore since it's already cooked. There we go. And in this bowl here, this is just a flour water mixture to kind of give us some uh, body to this. Because right now it's just more like a soup and not necessarily a stew. But uh, this is one tablespoon of uh, actually Mr. Stay Happy's alkaline uh, seasoned spelt flour, not the Cajun one, but the just the original seasoned one, and three tablespoons of spring water. We're just going to add that. That's just to give us a little bit more body to this. Not too much, but depends on how you like it. If you like it thick like a gravy, then add more spelt flour. So now we're going to add some kale here to this. And let that just wilt in there. And actually I can turn this all the way off because this is a Dutch oven so it's going to retain the heat. Alright, and we're all done with our stew. But we have one add-on to that. I know y'all thought, oh, we finished, we finna eat. Not quite yet. Alright, so, I have uh, some beach mushrooms here. Usually they come in one large cl uh, cluster. For me, they come in like a little package and it's just one large cluster. But I did separate the clusters into smaller clusters. Not separate each one of them, but separate them into smaller clusters as I was washing them. So, we're going to fry these here. So I have some more grapeseed oil here. I'm going to let that heat up, and well, y'all just not going to be able to see this part over there. So, I have uh, Mr. Stay Happy's Alkaline Spelt Original Seasoned Flour here, and this is not the uh, wet batter. Not the wet batter this time, we're just going to use the dry batter, but my mushrooms do have a little moisture on them from where I uh, washed them at, so we're just, what we're going to do is just drag these in the flour. They don't need to be coated like completely all the way through. You can if you like. Whatever your soul say yes to.
going to wait for the oil to heat up here. All right, so our oil is ready here, so we're just going to start dropping whole clusters in here. I think my oil ready. I guess it ain't. Just going to let these uh, drain here on some paper towel. Keep on going. Alright, so now we've cooked all our mushrooms here. As you guys can see. Nice and battered there. So now we are all ready. So got me a bowl here give me some stew see that our stew and our mushrooms all right so now give it a taste nice light savory flavor Mushroom here. A little bit of a crispiness, but still with a soft texture on the inside. Mm hmm. Very good. Like I say, very light flavor, but savory. So this is great. This is great for freezer too. I like to make this and then freeze it in uh, like two person portions here so that way I can just take it out and reheat it, especially on the nights when it's been a long, long day. Alright, so that is it people. Now you know how to make uh, um, butternut squash and chickpea stew. You know what to do with your butternut squash. You have another idea for using your butternut squash. See me cook some beach mushrooms there. Uh, like this video so I can get some more play with YouTube. Subscribe. It's right there in the corner. Like just hover over that little play button right there. And you can subscribe right there. You don't even got to click out of the video. Share this so other people can see these amazing meals. And then you can have friends and things who make these same things. So then you know you won't be the only person in your community that eat alkaline. But trust me, if you make these type of dishes and you're giving them to people, they will enjoy them and they will come. As they say, you build it and they will come. Well, trust me, at first people are like, oh, what is that? But then after trying like uh, three or four dishes of mine, then they're like, well, can you send me the recipe for that? Let me uh, check that out. Let me do that. So trust me, people will start uh, cooking these same things for you, for themselves and for you, should I say. But uh, what else? Go to MrStayHappy.com, right there, MrStayHappy.com, for all your alkaline seasons, condiments, sauces, and more. All those alkaline seasons that you saw I use, the nutritional yeast, the black pepper, the uh, bouillon, the all-purpose seasoning, all that came from MrStayHappy.com. All alkaline seasonings. So, it'll make it much easier for you to uh, have to season your product instead of having like 16 different things over here. They are already paired together, so 
much easier. Uh, that is it. And until the next video, stay happy.